Hi everyone, this is Candy Johnson. I am your host and this is Real Talk brought to you by Real Raw Records. Today's topic is uh, how dumb can you be? And I know that sounds a little harsh, okay? But just give me one second and I'll listen. Explain. Just give me one second before you ready to shoot and I'll explain. Uh, I chose to pose this, this uh, topic as a question of how dumb can you be because um, they used to have a show called um, are you smarter than a fifth grader? And years, years, long years ago, they used to have a, a different type of show, somewhat similar, but a different type of show. Um, and it, it, it was, I think it was called the, the darndest things that kids say. And um, I have own a daycare and I am so familiar with the wisdom that comes from children uh, and so um, I, I value the the wisdom that comes from children because their minds haven't been polluted with society and religion uh, for the most part or um what else pollutes us this so-called education system okay and i noticed that everywhere i go uh the kids seem to celebritize me so to speak um even you know uh the parents, they'll say, they, they, you know, they'll, you know, notice me or whatever like that, but the kids, most of all, pay attention, you know? And sometimes the parents don't even notice uh, me until the kids bring it to their attention because perhaps they're trying to get the kids to come on here, come on you know, and try to drag them across the stove and the kids look, keep looking back at me, you know, and um, and they like, mama, mama, you know, and they do that, you know. Uh, and uh, so anyway, I'm, I, I brought that up just because kids recognize good shit. Um, I have this saying, that I always say, and I don't know if I picked it up from somebody or not, but um, I certainly, it is certainly my philosophy that I pay attention to two uh, things in life. I pay attention to what kids say and how kids respond to different people and different things. And I also pay attention to animals because I have gone to people's houses and um, I was, um, I had a, an appliance business, so I had to deliver appliances to different people's houses. And there has been too many circumstances where uh, the people would be like, well, call me ahead of time or call me when you get outside the gate or whatever. And I'll put my dog up or whatever, and they'll be like, well, wait a minute, uh, when I come to the door, let me put my dog up and stuff like that because they, they're they used to their dog responding negatively to uh, people coming in. And I have had too many experiences where the dogs run up to me and the, and the, and the uh, owners think that the dog's going to attack me. And the dogs have love on me and be wagging their tail and going <laughs> and all that love on the back, you know. <laughs> and uh and I, I always uh kind of comfort the owners because they be in a panic and thinking that oh god my dog is gonna maul this lady, you know. 
And to their surprise, you know, the dogs take to me, you know, so well. They just love me to death. And I love all them back, you know. <laughs> and uh, I always try to comfort the owners and say, well, you know what? Uh, animals know good people. And I say, it's people that don't recognize good people. And that's real talk. Uh, so this is what I mean by how dumb can you be? You know, I've seen people cater to a crook, cater to a, a sneaky, devious person that will call them, cause them harm. I've seen people cater to, uh, 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 what do you call that? Uh, um, con artists, you know, and stuff like that. Because see, a con can't go over too well, and they can't be successful in conning unless you take to them. So um, the only way that they're gonna be successful in conning you is you got to be dumb enough not to recognize good shit as opposed to bullshit okay um i'll be i i'm i'm was born me mentally retarded all right and i thank god for that all the time and you might say candy will why would you thank god for being mentally retarded well i'll tell you Okay. Now, just hear me out. I know you atheists, y'all ready to mm, stop listening at this point just because I said something about God. But just hear me out. God taught me. He said, first of all, he taught me that being mentally retarded don't mean I can't learn at all. Uh, the word retard means to slow down. See, I used to drive an 18-wheeler, and they have what they call retarders on the um, acceleration, you know, the speed pedal, so that when you take your foot off the accelerator, the transmission kick in and the brake system kick in some kind of way, and immediately... Soon as you take your foot off the accelerator, it immediately begins to go into a uh, uh, action of slowing the vehicle down. Okay, and that part um, that uh, activates that is called a retarder. Okay, in um. God brought that to my attention one day. And uh, because I had always, I, even when I was taking my test, I cried when I went back to my room one day because um, they was making fun of me. The people, the other uh, people in the 18-wheeler uh, uh, training school, they was making fun of me know of uh, my disability or whatever like that you know so i went back to my room and i didn't cry in front of them but i had went back to my room and i was crying and stuff and i was saying you know talking to god and i said we uh help me with this here you know and what he did was he blessed me i got another trainer that taught me a technique and they're very systematic. Uh, and I'm I'm very systematic. I learn by calculating things. I'm better at uh, visuals and numbers or, or mathematical equations than I am at reading. Okay. So he was just a good teacher, see. 
So he taught me the systematic way. Mm -hmm. I, and so I, he was telling me how to do, you know, to operate uh, the accelerator and the uh, stick shift, you know, uh, to drive the 18 wheel and the uh, 12 different gears. So I went home and uh, not home, but to my hotel room. And I made up this uh, song to teach myself how to um, change the gear shift the ships out um smooth so what i did was i visualized in my mind the gear shift and the steering wheel and everything like that and you know the pedal of my little feet and uh and so i was in the room on the side of the bed pretending like i was in the uh cab of the truck and i thought and said shift nice that means go in the gear and um, press the uh, 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 clutch. So uh, I said shift nice and then shift. That means clutch smooth and then move it into gear. And, and so uh, that's called double clutching. All right. So I just kept practicing that. I kept saying shift nice, shift smooth. Ship nice and ship smooth. And the the uh the instructor that uh they had put me back in his group uh, uh, like uh, a couple of days later and uh I was driving that truck so I was driving that truck so good he wasn't say what changed over that you know few little days he was gone <laughs> but God had taught me with something so simple, you know, as a song. I said, "Ship it nice and ship it smooth," and I and I learned how to drive that eighteen wheeler. Paul was a bad bitch. I, I got a ninety-eight on that chest when I got to, and I got the last laugh too. I got the last laugh because I was a bad bitch when I did uh take my test and everything. I aced them. And everything, and uh, when the uh, instructor that was laughing at me and making fun of me and had the whole class laughing at me and everything, he was wondering how did I learn that like that? Mm. Well, I was swinging that truck around, mm. not swinging it like mm. uh, mm. out of control, but I was handling it mm. so. He noticed the, the drastic improvement. And I let him know, I said, you know what? It wasn't nothing wrong with me as a student. It's something wrong with you as a teacher that you couldn't teach me. I say because uh, whatever the guy name was, uh, I forget his name, let's just say his name was Daryl. I say because Daryl taught me in one day how to do this to him. And I say he taught me a, a technique and uh, then everything, and I learned how to back that suck up and everything, mm -hmm. and stuff like that, because he taught me that technique. I had to use my mirrors and stuff like that. And uh, so anyway, he was, I wasn't a dumb student, he was a dumb teacher. And I was telling all that to, to, to explain to you how some things that we may view as being less than may be the very thing that gives us value. All right. So, how dumb can you be to overlook the value that's there? It's there right there in front of your face. And the only reason why we overlook things that are right there in front of our face, when a person is running a con, they give so many signs. Uh, social psychologists have proven this in many studies that people intuitively can sense 
when a person is cooking, okay? And they can sense when a person is genuine, all right? Um, how be ever, they've also proven that uh, many times and more so than not, that people ignore their intuitivity and they listen to or follow after what they've been told, okay? They adhere to what they've been told. And this is why you have the atheists uh, are so strung out on um uh, what do you call that um resisting the intuitivity of god and their inner spiritual nature okay and they ignore that and say well the time to say and they even had a piece of paper you know you see they trick them with these pieces of papers and these Get fancy words and stuff like that. And but they too dumb to see it. They too dumb to see it. It's big as shit right there in front of their face, but they too dumb to see it. So I pose this question to you. How dumb can you be? I'm a uh point out this one other thing that God had told me about my uh, being born re retarded. He said, you may despise being slow. He said, but the next time you go out, he said, I want you to pay attention. And I, and I said, what do you want me to pay attention to? He said, I want you to just pay attention to people and how they behave, okay? And so I did that, and I just watched people, you know? And I'm a student of people anyway, so I just watched people. So after I come back home and I was talking to the Lord and stuff like that, and he started bringing stuff to my attention, see? And that day, I had picked up I had picked up this uh, stainless steel refrigerator. And as soon as I had turned on that street, because I got a uh, truck, a Ford F-250. I got a big monster, you know. So, because uh, I used to have an appliance business. And uh, I seen that uh, stainless steel refrigerator on the side of the street. So, I picked that sucker up because I know that was worth a thousand dollars. So I stopped trafficking everything, pull over, put my houses on, and I took that refrigerator and I chunked it up on the back of my truck. And um, so I took it on, checked it out, and everything. Wasn't nothing but a simple fan needed to be fixed in there, and I sold that motherfucker for a thousand dollars. Okay, because it, it was a ki kitchen aid, which is a Kenmo brand refrigerator. So not only was it was a top, 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 top of the line refrigerator that you can get, but it also was stainless steel. That's top of the line. So it was top, 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 top of the line. I could have sold it for more, but I ain't greedy. Okay, that's another subject I'm going to get on one day in another broadcast. Or how dumb people are to be greedy for a whole lot when it's easier to get a whole lot, a whole lot of little. All right, but back to the point about picking up that refrigerator. God brought it to my attention. He said, "You see how you saw the value, and you immediately stopped because you saw the value." In that refrigerator, although that refrigerator was sitting on the side of the road, you were slow enough and had enough wisdom to see the value in it. See, 
all the so-called people that think probably would think that they smarter than you he said they passed up a thousand dollars on the side of the road and i said you know what he said how many i said he is absolutely right and he said how many people you know if that was uh actually dollar bills would have passed that up not very many people would have not nobody i would get would have passed it up if it was dollar bills on the side of the road they probably would have had an accident and all been out there fighting over that you know thousand dollars he said but because they saw the refrigerator as broken, dysfunctional, unvaluable, that's what they saw it as. So they passed it right up. I'm sure it was hundreds of people during the course of that day that passed up that refrigerator and didn't even realize that was a thousand dollars sitting down inside of the room. So, I pose this question to you. How dumb can you be? Do you pass up value in people and in things every day? Absolutely you do. Absolutely you do. You probably scrolled over my page. Probably some people didn't even finish re listening to this video. You know why? Because they dumb. They too dumb to see the value in William, wisdom. See? They too dumb to hear and know that wisdom make money. See? They'll listen to... Uh, what's his name mm. mark cuban or uh any one of these celebrities that they see with money or they think that's that con i was talking to y'all about they think have money because trust me i know it's a lot of them is so far in debt you wouldn't want to be them if you knew <laughs> how much debt they in they just pretending and upholding the look of the lifestyle of being rich okay uh but anyway now you'll listen to them because you've seen them on tv and won't listen to me because you haven't seen me on tv because you don't know the difference between a con and they how dumb can you be uh, there's a, a, a lot of people that are celebrities now. And I'm going to tell you how dumb people are. Uh, I live in, in New Jersey. And um, I meet people all the time. And once they find out I'm a singer or whatever like that, you know, or they know of me or whatever. They always want to brag about who they used to. I used to, I used to play with the BB uh, King, and I used to sing with the uh, Whitney Houston, and I used to uh, live right down the street from Whitney Houston. I live right next door. Mm, you know, they start naming all these celebrities or who they used to have contact with or who they knew before they were famous or Queen Latifah, Missy Elliott, and all these other artists that are famous or obtained to some level of fame or fortune, whatever like that. Okay. And they always get startled when I ask them, well, if you knew this person or you played in a band or whatever like that, why you broke? Why you ain't famous? I ain't never heard of you. 
Why you don't have nothing? Why you still live in a ghetto? They don't have no answer for that. You know why they don't have no answer for that? Because they dumb. They didn't value or see the value in those people when they was right there in close contact with them when those people was on their way up. See? Because people don't value you till you already swinging on the stalls. We don't need their asses no more. See? And this is why a lot of celebrities Y'all sit up there and y'all post their videos and share their music. And I'm a, that's another thing that shows how dumb he is. Them people could care less about you. They sit up sometime in these meetings and in the, uh, in the backstage and laugh at how stupid they fan and call their fans. Y'all, well, you're not stupid for being a fan. you stupid for the um, a lot of people not realizing that a lot of artists that they um support them in so many kind of ways. Uh, these are people that could care less about you. They these people got millions and millions of dollars and won't spend a couple of hundred uh to at least hire somebody to respond to your comments on their social media. We're going to get down to the nitty gritty so you can find out just how dumb you can be. I've had mm, this one guy, uh, what do you call himself, drag knock. I, I was telling him, he, uh, I said, you know what? Mm. He said, she got money, but she ain't this and she that. I said, look, I said, here I am. Uh, I could act all, all uppity and don't pay nobody a, no attention that uh, isn't on my uh, status level and be all snobbity, just like other celebrities. I said, but I'm taking time out to dip down and be a real person and you look down upon me for that? I say, how stupid can you be? I say, Beyonce ain't go, you ain't gonna never be in no hangout or broadcast with Beyonce. Unless she copy off of me, she always copying off of every damn thing I do. She uh, start wearing jewelry like me too, and stuff, and bracelets and stuff, and, uh, and everything. She do every, copy off everything I do. But she ain't gonna dip down and, 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 and care about these so-called dumbass fans she got, all right? They living in the ghetto. She living on top of the hill. She ain't gonna never dip down and do nothing for you. So don't even think about it. Don't even dream about it, <laughs> wish for it, or none of that, all right? Because that's not where her heart is at. They sit up and laugh at people uh that uh are fanatics uh of the uh, celebrity uh starstruck fanatics they sit up and laugh at y'all and talk about how dumb and crazy and psychotic uh people is for following them that's what they talk about you see and y'all don't even realize that's how dumb you is while there's real artists, and Beyonce ain't even no real singer. She, they laugh at y'all because she can't even sing. They trick y'all. Anyway, there are people that are real artists working their ass off, packing gear and in and out of clubs and stuff, and really working hard on their craft. And y'all won't give them the time of day. You know why? Because you don't see them on TV. Mm-hmm. You won't support them because you don't see them on TV. Mm -hmm. That's how dumb you can be. Mm -hmm. Support somebody that talk about your ass like a dog and an artist that really appreciates you. You don't give them no support. You can't even, you won't even share their posts, much less come to their concerts. 
has way less money to go see somebody really performing and you'll pay more money because to, to uh be way in the background of <laughs> a, 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 a celebrity way in the background <laughs> just to say i went to whatever the big artist name is taylor swift or whatever concert and she don't give a damn about you and that's real talk y'all might not like it but it's, it's really to get mm, we don't have some more of these sessions about how dumb can you be but in the meantime in between time keep it real or take your ass back to fantasy land <laughs>